High drama today as former President Trump testified in a New York courtroom. It is the penalty phase of the defamation trial involving the writer who successfully sued him for sexual abuse. But before Trump took the stand, the judge laid down some very strict rules. Amber Cogliano is at the courthouse. Former President Trump was on the stand for less than three minutes today, but his brief testimony was filled with drama. Before Trump took the stand, the judge set strict parameters, limiting Trump's testimony to three questions, warning Trump not to accuse E. Jean Carroll of lying and not to protest his innocence because he's already been found liable of sexually abusing and defaming the writer. This trial is to determine how much in damages he must pay, if any. Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, asked him, did you view these allegations as false. Yes, I did, Trump answered, and ignoring the judge's instructions added, she said something that I considered a false accusation, totally false. Then Haba asked, did you ever instruct anyone to hurt Miss Carroll in your statements? No, Trump replied, I just wanted to defend myself, my family, and frankly, the presidency. <laughs> Carol's attorneys argued that Trump continues to relentlessly defame her no at a press conference just last up. week. I have no idea who she was, and nor could I care less. It's a rigged deal. It's a made-up, fabricated story. Last night on social media, he attacked E. Jean Carroll 37 times in just 20 minutes, an average of 1.85 posts per minute. And Trump is also not letting up on Nikki Haley, threatening banishment for anyone who donates to Haley's campaign. Anybody that makes a contribution to Bird Brain from this moment forth will be permanently barred from the MAGA camp. But is that threat backfiring? It sparked a flurry of defiant donations with one guy asking, can I be barred also, please? <laughs> Haley, campaigning in her home state of South Carolina, is showing no sign of giving up her presidential ambitions. Bring it, Donald. Show me what you got. Both Trump and Haley are now focused on courting voters in Haley's home state of South Carolina who head to the polls February 24th.